If every country is in debt, who's actually owed the money? As of 2025, the U.S. national debt has passed $34 trillion. That's more than the GDP of China and Japan combined. The biggest creditor to the U.S. government isn't China. It's the American people. Over two-thirds of us debt is owed domestically. The Federal Reserve, pension funds, mutual funds, insurance companies, state and local governments, and even regular Americans who buy treasury bonds. Erica owes most of its debt to itself. Japan's case is even more extreme. Its debt-to-GDP ratio is over 260%. That's because nearly all of Japan's debt is internal. It's just money shifting within their own system. Banks lend to the government. The government spends. Citizens save. The debt recycles. There's no foreign pressure to repay anytime soon. This is why Japan has had sky-high debt without collapsing. But when countries owe money externally, the dynamics change. Developing nations often borrow from the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and increasingly from China. These loans don't come without consequences. They can carry high interest, political strings, and lead to long-term dependency. Sri Lanka is a perfect example. After years of borrowing for large infrastructure projects, many of them backed by Chinese loans, the country defaulted in 2022. In the fallout, it had to lease out its Hambantota port to China for 99 years. What started as a loan became a shift in strategic control. So who are the lenders? Their governments, international institutions, big banks, hedge funds, corporations, and individual investors. One nation's debt is another's asset. You buy a government bond, you're literally lending to a country. In return, you get interest. The entire system runs on trust. That's because debt isn't inherently bad. It depends on how it's used. When countries borrow to build infrastructure, invest in education, or support innovation, debt can fuel growth. When it's used to pay off older debt or fund corrupt systems, it becomes toxic. Even though every country is in debt, not every country is treated equally. Wealthy nations like the US, UK, or Germany can borrow almost endlessly at low interest rates because lenders trust their economies. Poorer nations often pay double or triple the interest, even for smaller amounts, because lenders fear they might default. It's about promises being believed. Countries borrow from each other. Citizens lend to governments. Banks lend to banks. It's the same dollar moves around in different forms. Debt becomes income. So the real question isn't just who we owe the money to. It's what happens if the belief in repayment disappears.